Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Come on in. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but I'm here to tell you it's warm. So I'm just chiming in. I told y'all uh, last week I was starting outside working, trying to get my summer porch going. So this is the before. Wasn't so bad. It's just a matter of getting things in, and I've still got plants. Uh, I've repotted all of these plants right here. Croton bush, and I'm at a loss for the name of this. You, if you remember last year, I bought these, and they have uh, gotten bigger, but they got kind of tall and spriggly looking. So I repotted them. I'm going to think the name of them in a few minutes here. Of course, that's a Croton bush. That uh, We had those when we lived in Florida. I had the yard of the year because of those. They're beautiful. They grow well. They grow in pots, or they grow out in the yard, but it has to be good weather. For them to grow and of course let me, I'm gonna tell you the name of this beautiful I, these are jade I think these are jade yeah jade plants okay of course you see my sage there I, okay this one here is a Deffenbachia these grow really nice and large they're nice for inside or outside so I'm gonna repot that though because it needs to be in um bigger pots this plant here tanya gave to me and i'm saying this a uh, split leaf philodendron it has grown a lot i had it in the house sitting on the kitchen counter it's getting kind of big now i'm gonna have to repot it so i'm gonna put it out here somewhere so i'm working on this back porch those zinnias they are aren't they beautiful they got to be repotted and that's what's left of my macho fern y'all and of course all this little junk area over here I've got some hosta that I've got to uh, replant, and when I get my uh, outside settee, it is going to go right there in that spot. So I'm working on this porch. I'm working on the yard. This is the before. I'm I'm planting things. Of course, that's my grill out there. I got to clean it up from Sunday. It's a lot of well, this is a lot of work. You know, even though I'm not doing any heavy work, the little stuff. Is a lot to do oh let me see i've got my uh, i've got to get outside i've got to show you all my little stand-up box garden that i finally got it planted but everything else is pretty and green except my grass i got to get my grass i got uh a company that's treating it but maybe i need to put some water on it y'all reckon we haven't had any rain lately so hold on a minute we're gonna get right here on the side so you can see the garden I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all everything that I'm planting. Um, this is a bird of paradise. I've got to repot it and put it in. Uh, oh, the sun's so bright. I don't know if y'all can see it, but hopefully you can. These grow so pretty. They grow orange flowers. So I got two of those. I'm just working on this yard. This is my before yard. All of this furniture here. Show y'all. This is a Mandeville. I get those every year, so they're growing pretty good. Um, again, a new pot plant. This grows 15 feet tall and grows um, yellow blossoms. So they started to bloom. I'm gonna get the name of it, honey. I have to, these are new things, so I have to find my little tags for these. But all of this is going to be, this furniture is going to be painted on this patio here. So I'm working on this area, y'all. Slowly but surely, I'm trying to get it ready. I said for Memorial Day weekend, hopefully. Those are wandering you. Those are going real good. Okay, let's get over here to my garden that I'm so excited about. Some of this stuff is growing, some not. Um, these are cherry tomatoes, better boys, um, yeah, better boy, those are red peppers, green peppers, and that was, in that corner over there, that was a, uh, cucumber, it just died, just died. Um, the sun will be over here in about another hour, and of course that's another one of my, um, Mandevillas. 
and that's the grill area so i'm working on all this so hopefully by the end of my little project it will look totally different so y'all stay tuned in hang in there with me pray for me that i'll get this thing together by the end of the week okay yeah i've been walking around water and stuff i got everything watered for now and see that sun is beginning to go over that way so about uh, i guess about 12 30 1 o'clock the sun will be all the way over on my garden and then first thing in the morning it's there but amazing how it just jumps and skips about and then as you can see like right here those birds of paradise need lots of sun too so that's why i've got them sitting where they're sitting because the sun is going to start coming in a little bit it's going to be all the way out so it'll be on these birds of paradise so we'll get them all watered up so y'all hang in there with me now look who i got with me she's still sleepy she ready for some breakfast right poo poo <laughs> she's still sleepy okay <clears throat> excuse me i got my patio couch it's here y'all i'm it's gonna take me a while to get everything situated out here but I, i'm gonna go ahead and um video it now because i'm gonna finish off this video i gotta get all my plants going and this couch is a little bit bigger than what I thought, but I love it. It's just comfortable. It's durable. It's that uh, resin wicker. So it's, it's going to be very uh, durable, and we're going to enjoy it a lot. I'm going to have to get some, uh, get a fan going on. I, I got a fan, but I'm going to get one of those coolant type fans. So I am going to enjoy this patio if the heat don't run us off. So with all the shade trees, it should not be too bad. So... When I come back later, <clears throat> the next time y'all see it, it'll be complete. I have all this stuff out of the way, I hope, and we'll be finished. So this is going to be, I think, a place where I'm going to be sitting a lot of mornings when it's real nice and cool. You can sit out here, listen to the birds chirp and the bees and all that kind of thing. And that big noise y'all hear, of course, is the air conditioner. But out there in the backyard there, those things, some of those things I'm going to move. Even out there in the back, I've had some stuff move. So we're working. It's a work in progress, y'all. But the most exciting thing, I looked high and low for this couch, for this porch, for a long time. So I found it. I got it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get back inside. Because now I got part two of what I'm doing today. You know, I tell you, the kids are here. Uh, Norik and Kylie are here. So this is just like Peggy's yeah, Cafe now. So I'm going to get over here. I'm fixing food. So Kylie wants noodles. I've already cooked her noodles. I'm telling you, they're putting in their order. So she wants some noodles. I've already boiled them. She has already had, I thought, you know what? This little baby girl eats. She has, This is her beef pack of little oodles of noodles. Okay, there's Kylie's noodles. Kylie, your noodles are ready. Okay, this is Kylie's order. She's already had popcorn. So I can let her eat whatever she wants because she'll eat her food. She had popcorn, watermelon, and now she's having her noodles. Come on, baby. Yeah, she surprised me early this morning. So I got my Kylie Pooper. Turn around so you can eat your noodles. They already cooled off for you, okay? Yeah, you know, yeah. You're welcome. Can you say hello to everyone on the on the YouTube? Isn't she just fresh? Look how much she has grown. Isn't she just and the prettiest little thing? You I forgot to wash my hands. You forgot to wash your hands. Oh my god. Okay, she's forgot to wash her hands. She's such. Ow. She is such the little lady. I tell you. So she can go. Oh, Lord, you know children, honey, they have to do it all. Can't reach. You can almost reach it. Okay, so here's the wash your hands. That's a good thing when they remember to wash their hands like that. You know, them little ones, honey, them little heads touch everything. Oh, yeah, my poor kitchen. It, it, when they come, I just, just take stuff out and let it be for them because you drive yourself crazy trying to uh, keep it orderly orderly you gotta say your blessing can you bless your food you gotta say your blessing when you, when you eat that you didn't say your blessing okay 
You were ready for those noodles, weren't you? Mmm. Wonderful, Kylie. Mm. <laughs> she just precious. You are so precious. I just love you. I am so glad to see you because I haven't seen you in about a month. Let's say your blessing. God our Father, God our Father, once again, once again, thank you for our breakfast, thank you for our breakfast. Amen, amen. Do you say amen? Amen. That is so precious. I just, this is why I love children. I always have. They are so precious. They are special. They are little gifts from and God. And I woke the re up by punching the couch. Did he wake up? Yeah. Is he up? Oh, okay. Maybe he'll come up and tell me when. So when Nari comes to put his order in, we'll get his going. Kareem's put his order in. He wants, uh, what do you call it? French toast and sausage. So I'm going to get over here on the stove and make French toast and sausage for Kareem. Nari will probably want pancakes and eggs. I've already boiled him some eggs. So, hey, I'm running the restaurant this morning. Okay, y'all. Got the sausage already. There they are. And this is the bread, some artisan bread. I'm just going to dip it in my, um, this is two eggs, uh, about a fourth of a cup of milk or cream, tablespoon of sugar. Just dip it in there. And in the pan it goes. Have that heat down kind of low. You don't want the brown too quick. And this is just real easy, easy, easy French toast. I like this artisan bread. It is nice and thick and it soaks up that mixture really, really good. I think we can get four in there. I hope we can anyway. These are pretty good sized pieces of bread, y'all. Okay. Got one more to go. One more to go. I'm gonna try and make room for that fourth one. Okay. Yeah, there it is. One, 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 one. For one more. And as I get this done, I'm gonna get my pancakes going. Honey, the grill is rolling this afternoon. And I want y'all to know it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So we just like to eat what we feel like eating. It doesn't have to be any particular time of the day to eat um, pancakes. French toast or whatever. It doesn't have to be any particular time of day. We eat uh, based on how we feel like eating. So this is what the kitties want. I hadn't cooked for them in a little while. So As a matter of fact, Kareem hadn't eaten um, breakfast food in a while, so this will be a treat for him. And those little ones, you know how they love pancakes and things like that, so get my reach the pancakes going. He eats like five, well, they're a little bit bigger than, than uh, the silver dollar style pancakes. He eats about five or six. He's, I make him six of those because he's ready to be six years old, he says, so I always make him six of the silver dollar pancakes and he just enjoys them okay so we got that heat all the way down on low so that uh that bread so that the mixture will cook and soak in before it actually gets too brown so okay we're gonna let that cook about three or four minutes on each side hang on and i shall return okay it's time to get the uh, French toast out of the pan. Okay. So these belong to Kareem. That's Kareem's breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. Sausage and maple flavored sausage and French toast. And, um, okay, now we're going to get Norik's five silver dollar pancakes going. How's that? Okay, let's get some little oil going in the pan. Like I said, he likes, um, 
just pancakes and syrup. And I boiled him. Oh, yeah. He loves boiled eggs. He has discovered boiled eggs. So I got him some boiled eggs over here. So if he wants boiled eggs, I, I'm not going to kill him right now. So I don't know if he wants them. But we're going to get him. And if not, he can eat those legs. He likes cheese. He discovered those boiled eggs with his triple great grandma. Okay, so there is one, two, three, four, five. In fact, this is about maybe a uh, half a cup of pancake batter will make these five, these six little pancakes. We used to just do them five, but since he said he decided he wanted to be six years old, we go ahead and make them six, honey. What a small thing to make a child happy. So, this is Peggy's Grill today. Like I said, Kyle is already eating her noodles pretty much. I ate some left, I found me some leftover um, quiche, and I made some potato salad yesterday, and to eat with some of those leftover chicken uh, drumsticks that I put on the grill, oh lord, nothing tastes better combination wise than um, potato salad and chicken. Fried, baked, barbecue, whatever, potato salad and chicken just is just a really great combination. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm tending my children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. So, listen, guys, I'm about to tune out here just as soon as I get uh, Norwich pancakes. Just wanted to drop in with y'all and show you what I'm doing today. This is how my week usually goes. I'm on one project or another or doing something with the kids. So these eggs over here let them just sit there for a while so anywho y'all hope y'all got something good on the stove something I already cooked in the fridge I really need to go through my refrigerator that's one reason why I'm cooking like I'm cooking now because I even got um, some frozen pizza Tony about those three huge pieces a couple weeks ago and you know pizzas already cooked freeze really well if you wrap them up really good in some um in a nice freezer bag or some saran wrap and just take them back out let them fall then pop them in the microwave for two or three minutes and they're really good so later on i might allow them to eat some pizza because they always ask for pizza but i got to think of something green they need some veggies i think they need some veggies okay so guys listen it is so easy so simple to get a good meal going for, for your little ones and for your grandkids. And just in general, especially during the summertime, you have to think of real quick things to uh, cook so that you won't stand over the heat so much uh, during these hot times. Because I'm here to tell y'all, it's hot in the neighborhood today. It is, uh, let's see, about quarter to two. And I'm here to tell you since, I've been up since 6.30. It's been hot all day long i'm serious it's been really really hot all day long so as soon as i get done in the kitchen i'm gonna get back out there on the on my uh, patio and try to finish that little project but for right now i'm done just to give you all the highlights of what i've done and then uh when i get the finished product later on i'll come back and let y'all see what that looks like as well so guys continue to pray without ceasing and you know, as I've told y'all many times before, uh, I only look at the news maybe 30, 45 minutes a day because there are so many things that just go straight to my heart and get me started up, and I just don't like that feeling. So, But I do I, I do try to stay abreast so that I can pray directly to and for the things that people are going through, uh, the wars, the um, famine in some cases. The, this uh, coronavirus is still raging. And just for people in general, how you know, because sometimes you hear things so devastating 
But it, it just tears me up, and I just don't like that feeling. But nonetheless, I know that I do. I don't say I have to listen, but I need to be aware of what's going on so that I can pray directly and not pray amiss. So I'm praying now for people to be uh, kinder to one another, to be more compassionate toward one another, to love one another, even in my everyday life. I think, Lord, you know, sometimes I go through days and might think of a situation and get, get on my soapbox about it. And Lord, I ask God to just forgive me and help me to do better and pray that that thing gets better rather than complain about it. So, you know, I'm just going to ask God to keep us through all of these things that we go through to help us be better people, be better to one another, to help us to love one another as you have loved us, oh God. You ask us to do that just to love one another as you love us. And it should not be a hard thing to do simply because we are made in your image and we should be able to love each other real good. So there's Narik's pancakes. He's going to have a blast with these. So, guys, listen. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Continue to pray without ceasing. Do something good and kind for someone. Help somebody, y'all. Call somebody on the phone. Um, write them a note. Send them a card. And you know, we got this DoorDash thing going on now. And um, what is it? Instacart. Even it, with that, we can use that with people that we know may not be able to get out. If they can't do it, you know, sometimes seniors... Us seniors don't always know how to use those little apparatuses, but we can do it for them. That's one of the things that we can do. If somebody wants groceries and cannot get out to get them and don't know how to use uh, the apps on the phone, go ahead and do it for them and send them some food. Surprise them. I've done it all the way to Georgia before, so it's possible to do. Listen, guys, I love y'all. I got to get out here and finish this patio. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for your comments, compliments prayers and well wishes so continue to keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down uh pray without ceasing and until i decide to cook again i love you guys to the loo